Good day to the most amazing viewers in the whole wide world. How are you today? I am doing fantastic. So here is video three of the metal series. I do have a color in here that would probably not be considered metal because I don't think graphite is a metal. I think technically it's a like slate stone. Listen, be happy I know how to pronounce the name. Anyway, so I wanted to do a sterling silver Dutch pour, but I needed to come up with a few shades similar to it because I have a very, very hard time. Silver in acrylic painting is my enemy. In resin, yellow is my enemy. So I'm going to conquer this and we're going to have some fun doing it. So I have the colors mixed up. I'm going to explain really quick what they are. And I want to show you something that I found and I am in love with. I found these on Amazon. Now, I know a lot of you probably know what these are, but I didn't know they made steel aluminum um, push pins. They are three eighths of an inch of the steel point. So that's the, the pointy part, the sharp part and then an aluminum head. And let me tell you something, these go into the wood like a dream. So I added them to my Amazon shop. You will not have to buy push pins probably a fur a very, very long time with these. I use the plastic ones from the Dollar Tree and they snap constantly when I'm trying to hit them with the hammer. So I was so happy to find those. Anyway, I'm using Deco Arts Sterling Silver. I've put all of this stuff into my Amazon shop. I have Deco Art in the color called Tin, which is a metal, right? And then I have the Iridescent Graphite by Liquitex. For the cells, I'm going to be using Carbon Black by Golden with some Floetrol and I decided not to mix it because I want to mix it really quick with you guys so I can show you how I do this because again I'm using the Bloom recipe so this right here is just white wall paint from Walmart it's the brand is called Color Place it's a semi-gloss white uh, wall paint then my colors themselves, I used one part of the um, polycrylic and then three parts of this. Okay, so I used three ounces of this, one ounce of this. Then I put a couple of squirts of paint in there and you can see the consistency. It's thick. It's going to be thicker. So this white white, uh, white house paint does not have water or anything. It's straight out of the can. That's the consistency of it. It's a little bit of a thinner house paint as far as the house paints go. So that's that. The colors and the, the base that you pour on. So now let's do this. This is just Floetrol in a cup that I strained. What I do to make sure my consistencies are the same is... I mix the colors up, okay, and I make sure that those colors are the same consistency as this. Then I will do the Floetrol and black last so that I can make it be the same as the colors in that. If I do this first, this may come out thinner than the rest or thicker than the rest. So I always do this last. What I do, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to squeeze in a good amount of black. So that's probably a heaping tablespoon of black. And then what I will do is add a little bit of Floetrol at a time. Okay, first 
because this is a heavy body paint and if you go and dump all of this in there it's going to clump up so you want to make kind of a paste so i do that first and you can see see how it gets all coagulated and clumpy looking so i'll beat it in there really good so now it's nice and smooth again and then I will add a little bit at a time. And this is Americans, America's version of Floetrol, not Australian. And this is all I put in here. I don't put any wood conditioner. I don't put anything. And I'm slowly going to keep adding the Floetrol in until I get to the consistency of those other paints. This way, everything is the same. And the reason I do it in that order is because the house paint, we're not doing anything to. So that needs to be the consistency that you match all of your other items to. So you put that in the cup first, see what the consistency of it is. And then you make your colors to match that, the house paint. And you make your cell activator match your colors. And then you're all good. So... I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to keep adding this in. I'm getting close. You can see it's starting to, to loosen up good now. But I don't want to bore you with all this mixing. So, and I could tell you right now, these are three ounce cups. So I had about two ounces of Floetrol to a tablespoon of paint. And I think that's going to... Uh, probably like a heaping tablespoon. And I think that I'm going to be using all of it and it's going to be perfect. So again, that was a heaping tablespoon of paint, heavy body paint. Now this is based off of the items I am using. If you go out and get Artist Loft and do this, it's not gonna be the same consistency. It is very important, especially with this Bloom recipe, that you find a recipe that works and stick to it until you're good enough at creating these paintings. Then you can venture off and try different products. But find somebody in your area, United States, you have me, you have uh, Jenny Post. In Canada, you have Canela. In Ireland, you have Erica Hughes. I'm sorry, Canela Sirocco in Canada, Erica Hughes in Ireland, and um, who else do we have? Saskia Smith in the Netherlands. So there's there's tons of, and there's more than that out there now, er, like everybody's doing this. So find somebody in your area, find those ingredients and stick with them. Trust me, until you get it down and practice on small little tiles until you get it down. Then you can venture off and try whatever you want. All right, so what I've done is I've put down the white and see, this is where I need the cool editing knowledge. <laughs> I am working on it, but cue in the Jaws music. You guys know what that is? Good. Look what I got! A mini blower. Yes, indeed. I finally got one. Broke down and got it. I'm going to use that for the little parts that I can't get with a blow dryer. Um, I originally, I saw that on Canela Siraco's channel. Uh, she had saw it on somebody's channel and used it and I just, I just loved it. It's so cute. So, and let me tell you something, this little sucker blows really good. I mean, you push the button, it stays on. The only thing is, is it's got a cord and you have to have it plugged into a USB port. If you don't know what that is, that's this guy from your phone charger or a computer, the little plug on the side. So, of course, something fell in my paint now. So, that's the only thing that I don't like about it, but... Hey, it is what it is. If it had to have a cord, I wish it was just a regular plug to plug it in, but it was 15 bucks, so I'm fine with it, and we're going to have some fun. So we're going to start right now, I promise. Enough jibba-jabba. 
All right, so here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put down the iridescent graphite first. I want to do dark, lightest, and then, um, no, you know what? Maybe I'll do dark, medium, and then lightest. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I was going to do it opposite, but we'll try this way. So just right down the center like so. Okay. Now you don't need much paint when you do it this way. Um, there's the flow trial that I mixed up. So it's like this. Oh, what was that? It's about the same consistency as, uh, well, it is pretty darn close. Put it that way. Got a lump of something in there. All right, so that's that one. This one is uh, the tin. Okay, this is the sterling silver. And then I think I want to repeat one more time. Maybe too much paint, but we shall see. I'll try to go a little lighter. So that's the iridescent graphite. Tin. Serpentin tin. And sterling silver. Now, if this doesn't work, I vow to never use silver again <laughs> because I swear I can't get any good results. All right, so just like I did yesterday, I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the black only in certain areas. So, for example, right here is I'm going to blow upward. I'm going to put it right there. Let's see how it works. This will go downward. So I'm covering my areas here and you know something this is doing weird stuff already i wonder if this silver is going to uh interact crazy with it we'll find out It's really weird. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more here. That is really weird. It's, it's almost fractaling a little bit. Just want to make sure I have enough black. Probably overdid it, but we shall see. All 
Okay, here we go. I'm going to torch quick. Oh yeah, that is weird. <laughs> that is very weird. Uh, of course, I have to get a little tiny bit of black down there. All right, so blow dryer first, cool and low. Cool and low. Oh yeah, that's having a really weird effect. Very, very weird effect. All right, so let's get our little mini blower going and see what we can make here. This little thing is very easy to use. I know when Canela did hers, she used this, not even the blow dryer. This is a 12 by 24 though, and I was worried uh, because of its size that it would just be uh, too much for this little thing but maybe not who knows it's nice you can aim it right where you want it I'm really liking this very nice This is my first time using it, so I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> Composition is different, that's for sure. But I'm okay with that, too. And the colors are gorgeous. Oh, I love this little thing. I'm going to be in trouble. And I like the fact, too, that... No batteries are required. These are really meant for to blow out your keyboards and stuff. 
but you know how we roll. Everything's for art. Yeah, I love it. Woohoo! I just like the non traditional look that I'm getting blowing the colors this way. You know, something different. Yeah, look at those cells popping up too. Those paints are loving each other. All right, I'm almost done, guys. Promise. Just trying to activate a little more of those cells. Sometimes if there's some of the Floetrol under there, it will work if you get nice and close. Don't want to get too close though and ruin it. All right. There's a lot of color hiding under there. This is pure magic. And I can hear you guys probably screaming, stop! <laughs> uh, I really need to do something right here, but I don't think there's any paint on there. Let's, well, maybe there is. Maybe I'm wrong. It didn't look like there was. See this there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I swear that you can tell I'm old. <laughs> the things that excite me now. Who would have thunk? Yeah. All right. Can I get this up a little bit higher or what? I get to go a little bit higher. I'm done. I think that, uh, hold on. <laughs> I just want to, I saw this one going over the edge, so just want to have a couple of them flow over or something here. Again, I can't wait to the resin this. I'm going to be showing you these all very soon. The other two are almost dry enough or dry for me to resin them. So we're all good. We're good. It's all good in the hood, my friends. Let me show you this because I love it. Now, I don't know how much you're going to see the silver. I could show you it when I go the other way, but the ring light is going to be in the frame too. So let me just show you the movement on these pieces here. Or in these areas. I really love the way that black is outlining things. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Well, guess what? I got the silver to work. It is a miracle. This is a big painting. Hold on a second. Get over here. This is a 12 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas. Um... I'll have to fix up these little splatter marks there. 
that's no big thing. Look at that area. Oh my God, I love that. Very pretty. I love it. See, now you can see the silver. And there you have it, my friends. So, if you're interested in this piece or many of my other pieces, I'm going to put a link at the end of this video. You can click right on it. It'll take you to my Etsy shop. This won't be in there today, but if you're interested in it, you can email me, artbytammy at yahoo.com. Uh, the Amazon Influencer Shop link is down there for the products that I used. I have coupon codes and all that. So uh, that's it, I think. Oh, and my Facebook group. If you haven't joined already, please do. It is United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And there is a link for that in the description also. And uh, I hope you guys all have a great day. And until next time, happy pouring.